In a world where the majority of the automotive industry is steering inexorably towards a future dominated by electric vehicles, Porsche CEO Oliver Bloom dropped a bombshell that seems to define not only market trends, but the very Zeg guest of the era. In a recent press conference, Bloom announced that Porsche, the stalwart of German engineering and a beacon of luxury, has decided to halt its production of electric vehicles entirely. This unprecedented move raises many questions about the future trajectory of this prestigious carmaker, while also striking at the heart of the discourse on sustainable mobility. Over the past few years, Porsche had established a strong foothold in the EV market, heralded by their Taycan model which stood as a rival to Tesla's reigning electric monarchs. The Taycan, a vehicle whose name is derived from a term denoting a spirited young horse, encapsulated the finest aspects of Porsche's automotive mastery, offering a spirited driving experience powered by the sheer force of electricity. Many have viewed this automobile as the genesis of a new chapter in Porsche's story history, a vision of a future fused with avant-garde technology and classic design sensibilities. It is pertinent to remember the rich tapestry that is Porsche's legacy, a brand that has for decades defined the pinnacle of automotive luxury and performance. Porsche has been synonymous with engineering excellence, championed through iconic models like the 911, a car whose timeless design and unprecedented performance reign supreme in a world of combustion engines. Oliver Bloom's recent announcement can be seen as a beckoning back to these golden years, where the roar of a naturally aspirated engine was more than just a mechanism, but a symphony of human engineering. However, in an era where every major automotive player, from Ford to Mercedes-Benz, is vying for a slice of the lucrative EV market, Porsche's departure feels akin to a titan withdrawing from battle, leaving many to ponder the depth of its implications. The question that looms large in the mind of every automotive enthusiast and environmental advocate is why. Bloom's explanation for this dramatic shift is rooted in a philosophy that champions the inherent values of the Porsche brand, unparalleled craftsmanship, performance, and a unique connection between the driver and the machine, elements which, according to Bloom, are somewhat diluted in the domain of electric vehicles. One can interpret this not just as a business strategy, but a clarion call to preserve an endangered art form, a sanctuary for the pure exhilaration derived from high-octane performance vehicles in an industry progressively leaning towards automation and silent electric motors. In a market landscape where companies are pressured to conform to the electrification tide, Porsche's audacious move may indeed find resonance among a niche of purists, individuals who crave the tactile feedback, the vroom of a potent engine, and the adrenaline surge which electric vehicles have arguably failed to replicate. However, critics argue that this romantic notion falls short in addressing the looming climate crisis and the urgent need for sustainable alternatives. Moreover, there is a growing consensus that EV technology has reached a point of maturation where it can indeed offer a driving experience that rivals, if not exceeds, that of traditional vehicles. However, a deeper analysis reveals a nuanced strategy possibly in play, guided by a forward-thinking vision that dares to challenge prevailing norms. It seems that Porsche is not entirely turning its back on innovation and sustainability. Bloom hinted at a heightened focus on synthetic fuels, a frontier that promises to marry the best of both worlds, the emotional connection of a traditional engine with a considerably lesser environmental footprint. Synthetic fuels, also known as fuels, are conceived from hydrogen and captured carbon dioxide, offering a sustainable pathway that reduces greenhouse gas emissions drastically. Porsche believes that focusing on this technology could pave the way for a new era of sustainable mobility, where cars equipped with internal combustion engines can still hold a pivotal role, ushering a green revolution with a nostalgic touch. While embracing a fuel seems like a valiant endeavor, the nascent technology has a long way to go before it can compete with the rapidly advancing and already established electric vehicle infrastructure. Companies like Tesla, NIO, and Lucid are in an arms race, constantly evolving and bringing innovations that are not only pushing the boundaries of performance, but also redefining luxury and convenience. For instance, Lucid Motors' Lucid Air boasts a range that far exceeds even the most advanced combustion engines, with the added benefit of an ecosystem that is constantly improving through over-the-air updates, a feature that has now become a benchmark in the industry. Moreover, electric vehicles offer the added advantage of instant torque, a silent and vibration-free ride, and lower maintenance requirements, aspects that are drawing even the most seasoned petrol heads into the electric fold. 
At this junction, it appears Porsche is standing at the crossroads of tradition and innovation. Their refusal to abandon the internal combustion engine could be seen as a noble endeavor to preserve a cherished heritage, or a potentially risky gambit that pits them against a tidal wave of electric momentum, fueled by governmental regulations, environmental considerations, and shifting consumer preferences. What remains undeniable, however, is the sheer magnitude of the gamble. The global automotive landscape is on the precipice of arguably its most significant transformation since the inception of the car itself. Porsche's decision to buck the trend positions them as a maverick, swimming against a strong current in pursuit of a vision that is unapologetically their own. But this move does more than just hark back to an older era of vehicular design and power. It actively engages with emerging technologies that are still in their infancy. In this calculated retreat, Porsche seems to be advancing a new frontier in the automotive sector, one that leverages the synthetic fuels technology to maintain the visceral elements of driving that have defined the Porsche experience for generations, while minimizing the environmental impact that has become increasingly untenable in the modern world. As Bloom elucidates, this decision is deeply grounded in a reverence for the rich tapestry of experiences that combustion engines offer. The sonorous roar reverberating in the driver's chest, the pulsating rhythm of a car in tune with the road, an experience that has yet to be replicated by the silent, albeit powerful, propulsion of electric drivetrains. Yet even within this deeply ingrained appreciation for the combustion engine, Porsche seems cognizant of the environmental repercussions of this choice. The decision to venture deep into the world of synthetic fuels is not just a nod to the past, but a determined stride into a sustainable future. By pledging to mitigate the carbon footprint of the ice through pioneering developments in e-fuels, Porsche is positioning itself at the forefront of a potential revolution in the automotive industry. Synthetic fuels offer a landscape ripe with potential, a technology that, while nascent, could redefine how we view traditional fossil fuels and their role in the broader context of environmental sustainability. It leverages a process that is inherently carbon neutral, pulling CO2 straight from the atmosphere, marrying it with hydrogen to create a fuel that is not just less harmful to the environment, but can power the traditional Porsche engines that have become a staple of the brand's identity. But this approach is not without its critics. Many point out the ambitious nature of the endeavor, questioning the practicality of scaling synthetic fuel technology to meet global demands. Compared to the electric vehicle ecosystem, which has seen an explosive growth and support from governmental policies worldwide, the synthetic fuel industry is a path less traveled, and arguably, a path laden with a slew of unknown challenges and variables. Moreover, there is an argument to be made about the market dynamics that have been firmly established over the past decade. Giants like Tesla have not only been a testament to the electric vehicle's market viability, but have sculpted a consumer base that is steadily growing, a base that finds the silent, seamless acceleration of an electric vehicle as enticing as the roar of a combustion engine. New players such as Rivian and established behemoths like Mercedes with its EQS series are not just pushing for electric, but are defining a new era of luxury and innovation, essentially reshaping what consumers expect from a modern car. As we stand on the cusp of the seismic shift in Porsche's journey, the road ahead is unclear, veiled in a mix of apprehension and excitement. But if history has shown anything, it is that Porsche has the metal to carve out paths where none exist to innovate and lead. Thank you for sticking with me all the way to the end. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure the notification bell is turned on so you don't miss a video. See you later.